That's because a full-size keyboard has stuff like the numpad, the arrow keys, and the function row. Now, if you're only planning on gaming, that might not matter, but it might matter if you're doing stuff like 3D modeling or spreadsheet creation. Now, one of the cons of a full-size keyboard is very obvious. It's large. So if you have a limited amount of desk space, I wouldn't recommend this one. The other issue caused by this size is that it's harder to travel with. That might be an issue if you're going to a LAN or for some reason you decide to take it to a local coffee shop. Now, if you don't need a numpad, but you still want the function and arrow keys, the 75% keyboard might be the right size for you. Being 25% smaller means it's more compact. Sometimes these keyboards also have a little volume knob, which is pretty cool. If that's still too large for you though, there's also the 65% size keyboard. These boards get rid of the function keys but they keep the arrow keys, the delete key, the page up key, and the page down key. These boards are meant for